we got him. Sneaky beaky bastard. Catch your breath, calm down. Get the jungle pass. Patch helicopter flying overhead. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and another Airsoft site visit review. Today we're going to be up in Otley, and this site was a first time visit for me and Saxon. And initially when we got there, the fact that there was only about 11 players booked on was a little bit worrying, but it did mean that we had the opportunity to be, to be a little bit more sneaky beaky, shall we say. Now this site was really quite diverse, up at the top half there was a bit of a lake surrounded by really thick lush grass, really thick high grass which means you could kneel down or go prone in the grass and be completely invisible so camo really was fantastic today. As you move further down into the valley it was almost like Vietnam, I know that sounds ridiculous but there was large plants, bushes, trees, lots of opportunities for shadows from the from the sun meaning that the camo really did play a, an amazing part in it today and as i was in full black i remember i was stood still near a tree near a bush as well and a sniper popped me from the top of the valley and he said he'd been stood there for a few minutes and because i hadn't moved he didn't even see me so camouflage really was fantastic today the only negative to this site well it's not really a negative to the site is that me and saxon both got bitten really badly by insects. I wasn't too bad as I was fully covered up but Saxon's arms were like he had chicken pox and I believe you me they were terribly itchy for the next two three days so really think about this guys if you're gonna go out and play in some of these places in the summer get some insect repellent but let's jump in and I'll give you some thoughts from the field as I took the GoPro out and I'll give you my thoughts on this airsoft review site. So here we are in Otley, beautiful Otley we do love it around here, very rural, still no houses as yet, I'm sure there'll some cunt will want to put fucking 12,000 houses on it at some point, fuck Bradford Council, fuck off. So we are, nice relaxing day <laughs> coming down here, look at that little post box there, traditional beautiful Englishness and it is first and only Airsoft. So, just on Chrono, I've got to say that the first thing that worried me was the amount of players here, but that could make it a completely different type of game. But as soon as you get to sites and there's so many people, it actually means that you don't get a chance to move. So with there being less players, you can be a little bit more tactical, and hopefully my goggles are going to hold up today, and we're not going to get the steam issue that we've had before. Chrono's done, wood's done, almost ready. Let's get on the field and see what we think. So the first game of the day was, over to my left there is a lake and it was basically the amount of players on each team, yellow or red, that were within a certain vicinity of the lake, then basically you dominated it. And as you can see here, I went right up to the very top and there's a nice little trench here. And the guy you can see in front of me there is actually one of my teammates who's wanting to be medicked. Now I know there are people over in those trees over to the left there, which is why I'm playing this a little bit sneaky beaky and not running in. And in a second I'm going to get some shots and run over to my left because Saxon actually takes a hit. A great opening start to this day. The sun doesn't look like it's that bright, but believe you me, the heat soon ramped up when you've been running around for a while. Great opener. Love this lush green grass and the trees. Just a great environment to start off a brilliant day. Nine, ten, you're back in, Porter. There's one down there. Shit, I'm out. I'm warming up already. Why have you got peltoes on, you might ask? Peltoes actually have a built in microphone that enables me to be able to hear things at a distance very, very well. That's where you notice SF and special units wear them. 
You can hear them scooping around it in the bushes at a good distance. But so far, the actual site, although I've not seen a huge amount of it, lots of brush, scrubland, you know, this type of grass. Um, and as you can see, if I turn the camera around, lots of opportunities to be low down in the grass and getting good cover. So if you've got that sort of camo on, this site is absolutely fantastic. Sun is hot, very meadow and green in summer, just as an English woodland should be. So, so far the site's quite good. First game of course, and today is going to be a long day. I may actually end up taking the peltors off, we'll see. And I'll put the GoPro on the hat, so you get to have a little bit of a look around. So, because I've been shot now once, I need to come back to respawn, which is just down here. Stay and respawn, and then we're back in again, and this is only a 10 minute game. I'm told that some of the other games today may be actually patrol based, a little bit more, shall we say, millsimish. But we shall see as we get further into the, the day. Sun's coming out now, I'm starting to heat up a little bit. But I'm an airsoft in CrossFitter. Ain't nothing. Unlike many other airsoft sites I've actually visited, this one today really the games were more objective based. For example, when you go up to say the Yorkshire Paintball and patrol based ones, it's more of a skirmish. There is the odd little bit of, you know, capture the building or capture the aircraft. Uh, this one today was a lot more... The opportunity for Team A would go off and get into a defensive position. And then our team, for example, on the assault team, we would have to push them back. Push them back a certain way and that would be classed as a win and the other one such as around the lake. So the games were kind of a little bit like that. The medical system was kind of the same as in other sites. You shot once, you have to stand up, put your hand up. Somebody else can come and then revive you as a medic by pulling you into safety and counting to 10. You then put, um, you could then get back into the game and start fighting again. And once you're shot again, you go back to the respawn area. Other sites, sometimes when you first get shot, you put an armband on to say that you're injured so that people know, etc., etc. So there was a little bit of an honor system today. Had no issues with the players whatsoever, and the fact that the player count was less did actually mean that you had the opportunity to flank, which was fantastic in this, because a lot of other sites, which are quite small, it is literally facing off against each other, and the opportunity to actually get around the sides and flank it become very limited. So the, the advantage to sites like this with less players and the lush, jungly type forest and uh, grassland really makes this site stand out. So this really was a fantastic day, a fantastic different experience that I've had in Airsoft. And I think this site could really benefit from Milsim. I really think this site would open up fantastically to that type of gameplay. So to sum up this site, first and only Airsoft, I really, really enjoyed today. I, I was expecting it to be a little bit... Uh, with the amount of players there, but there was about 11 booked on and then more people actually walk, walked on as well. The site is really fantastic. The diversity in the environment really makes this interesting and camouflage in this site more than any other really site that I've been to really is key here. So if you get the opportunity to try one of these sites, especially up here, up at Otley, I think you're really going to have a great time. It's kind of run differently, as I've mentioned, to other sites out there. Make sure that you bring plenty of insect repellent, especially if it's going to be due during the summer, and think about what you're actually going to be wearing, because for me, again, the goggles are becoming an issue again with running around and being in assault class, fogging up and having to sit there for five minutes. So I may have to look at some different eye protection or some solutions. I was told that fairy liquid in there will work. There's the shaving foam thing where you leave it in until it goes hard and pull it off. All these things that I really need to try and see if they're going to make a huge difference because it really does affect your gameplay and it is bloody frustrating. But that that is what it is. Now, food-wise at this site, it was hot dogs, crisps, chocolates and free drinks, which is a brilliant thing because you don't always get fed at all these sites you go to. And with me being a veggie, I know, don't need to wear it. They don't always cater for you, so I always bring something anyway. But no issues for today. Probably lots of cans of pop. Is not what I would usually be drinking, but on a hot day and you want that sugar rush, absolutely perfect. So for this site, out of 10, I'm going to give this an 8.5. And, and the only reason I'm going to knock it down a little bit is purely personally because I was Hank Marvin before I started and I was overheating. But that's nothing to do with the site whatsoever. There was a safety briefing, there's a chrono, everything else you accept at these sites. So 
brilliant. Again, the environment here really was the star of the day today. Thanks to all the staff and everybody else down there and all the other players around the field. And a couple of guys came up and said, are you para players? Don't have to big you up when people recognise you. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that bell and subscribe if you want to help me grow the channel. I do appreciate every subscriber. But in the meantime, I've been Paraplays up at Otley playing Airsoft with a group of lads who enjoy it, who enjoy the team play. Fair gameplay today, no issues whatsoever. I did get popped under the armpit by a sniper from a long way away, and believe you me, it friggin' well hurt, but hats off to him. That's all part of the game. If he's scared to get hit, don't play. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in some more airsoft first-person shooters and everything else in the wonderful world of Yorkshire. Coming real soon from me, Paraplays. Bye-bye.